I'm Jackson Pierce and today's video is about classic books. I feel kind of presumptuous starting out with a quote but I'm gonna start out with a quote anyway and that is a quote by Mark Twain and it's a classic is a book that no- hang on. A classic is a book that everybody talks about and nobody reads. And I will totally be the first to confess that had I not had to read a lot of books for my English major in, in high school then I probably would not have read a lot of classic books. But I'm really glad that I was forced by various professors and teachers and that kind of thing to read classic books because I found a lot of books that I really, really love amongst the classics. For example, Little Women, one of my all-time favorites. So favorite, in fact, that I named my cat Alcott, which, um, I mean, God, if one day somebody names their pets after me. I've just found a new career goal, ladies and gentlemen. To Kill a Mockingbird? Who doesn't like To Kill a Mockingbird? The thing about To Kill a Mockingbird that I think is so great is that even if all of the symbolism and meaning just goes right over your head, the story is still fantastic. So, there's that. Fahrenheit 451. This is the book that renewed my faith in classic literature. That said though, just because I'm a writer and majored in English does not mean that I love all classics because there are some classics that I hate. I think the dean of the UGA English department is going to come to my door and kick me in the knee. Heart of Darkness. Couldn't stand it. Did not like it. In fact, when I pulled this one off to show you guys, I realized that there were like notes all throughout and it's got underlines in it. And then I noticed that none of this is in my handwriting and this must be somebody else's book. I don't know how I got a hold of it because let me tell you, I would not have underlined that much. Persuasion, which I know is Jane Austen and I know I'm supposed to love Jane Austen because everybody loves Jane Austen. Maybe it's a time period thing. Maybe I just am unable to go back to a time when for fun ladies took a stroll about the room. Tess of the D'Urbervilles. When we were on the Smart Chicks tour, I said that this was my least favorite classic book shortly after Melissa Marr said it was her favorite classic book. So that caused a bit of a stir. Yeah, I, I won't lie, checked out of it when, uh, when she shaved her eyebrows off. Just couldn't, decided that was it for me. I think classics kind of have a light side and a dark side. Very similar to The Force, or duct tape. Anyway, I like that almost everybody has read this book because that means we almost instantly have common ground to discuss, and that's really cool. However, the dark side is I think that sometimes classics turn people off to reading. Had I not read a lot outside of the classroom in high school, I might incorrectly make the assumption that all books are Jane Austen. And then therefore I might have thought, well, I hate reading because I hate these books. And that's not good. If you're only reading books for school and you think you hate reading, give a book outside of the books you're reading for school a chance and see if you still hate reading. And if you do, maybe... You just hate reading. I mean, I don't like that, but I don't like math either, so I understand. Anyway, is there a classic that you absolutely love or absolutely hate? And don't just say you hate all classics, because let me tell you, this and this, wildly different books. It is impossible to hate them both for the same reasons. Uh, leave it in the comments. I'm thinking that in the future I'm going to start answering comments in videos. Is everybody cool with that? Does that seem like a good idea? Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Choices play.